ever since you were a teenager till death how many times have you recklessly poured out your sacred fluids how many times have you discarded this sacred fluid just for a fleeting moment of pleasure do you know perhaps of course there's no way you can remember countless times and the reason why you lost count is because the society has convinced you that it's normal the society has been conditioning our young people that as you are growing up self service help yourself it's very very normal it's actually healthy it prevents prostate cancer mm really everyone else is doing it all the youths are doing it so do it also our kids have been conditioned to believe that my young brothers my young sisters have been dating ever since they were 14 15 they've been engaging 17 18 19 they are finished products when was the last time we had a wedding that a young lady who has never been with a man before in her entire life has been married when was that if it wasn't for our mothers our mothers mothers those were the last innocent generations us we are broken people my young brothers out there empty vessels Their tankers have been constantly depleted. That's why they are weak. That's why they have no vision. Always tired. No sense of purpose. They are merely existing. They have never been told how important it is to preserve their sacred fluids. Our pastors, our bishops, our so-called spiritual fathers, men of God, They don't preach about these things. They don't touch on these subjects. Even though these subjects are in the Bible, the Bible has been condemning immorality at its best, at its level best. But who's there to preach about it? No one. Who's there to preach about holiness? No one. Who's there to preach about self-preservation? No one. Who's there to preach about maintaining holiness? No one. Who's there to awaken the church? to caution the church that this holy temple has to be preserved no one is there to do that and the reason why they don't want to offend their members they don't want to offend their customers they don't want to touch on anything that unsettle tight payers so they would rather play around with sweet things sweet messages with malachi with inspirational motivational messages that lead you nowhere but the messages that should be preached to you messages that should empower you to have a strong connection with god to have a strong relationship with christ are omitted they are never spoken about and look at yourself right now you don't even understand your purpose you don't even have an idea why you are existing that's what you're doing you are existing you're not living but how can you actually live a meaningful life when your chambers are empty do you know that your divine personality is contained in the fluids that you have been recklessly throwing away do you know that some of you are in relationships you break about relationships the world has convinced you that you have to be in love the world has convinced you that no you have to be engaging with your partners and you have been and whenever you do engage tell me my friends tell me you that are engaging you that are in, in relationships you that are self servicing tell me how exactly do you feel after those fluids leave your system how do you feel do you feel proud do you feel like you've achieved something do you feel like you are the king of the game some of you brag about the duration the prowess of your tactics of how you go about it i did this we did this or oh, we did how many po- really are you not ashamed of yourselves do you realize how much you're losing out Whenever you play around with your life force it's called life force for a reason that fluid has the potential to create life and you have been constantly giving it away throwing it out pouring it out just for a fleeting moment of pleasure and after that you feel depleted you feel so empty you feel tired in most cases you doze off you sleep that is a sign my people that is a sign that you have lost something that is vital to your entire existence you have lost your divine energy 
That weakness that you feel, that emptiness that you feel as soon as you pull them out, that is your soul griefing. That is your soul crying out. To say, why are you weakening me? Why? Why are you disconnecting me from God? That is your spirit man crying out loud. But you do not pick it up because your spiritual antennas are blocked, are dimmed, are dead. And they have been dead for a long time. That's why you have no connection with God. That's why nothing you can pray about reach the divine. That's why you can speak in tongues, but there is no manifestation. That's why most of you cannot manifest the gifts of the Holy Spirit because the Holy Spirit does not have a safe space, space to stay, to live. No safe temple to inherit or to possess. All the temples that have been existing in this world are contaminated. Desecrated temples that do not have that divine vibrancy, that do not have that purity, that holiness, that sacredness. The sanctity of these temples have been constantly desecrated. And now they do not have the ability to host the Holy Spirit. And as a result, we have a lost generation. And if we do not do anything about it, we are going to lose an entire generation, if not humanity. The secret to spiritual enlightenment, the secret to divine alignment begins with self-preservation. It begins with holiness. It begins with respecting your sacred fluids. That's why you should read this ebook, so that you can understand the spiritual consequences of recklessly pouring out your vital force, your life force. And you don't want to keep losing that life. You have to honor the Holy Temple. Keep it pure so that the Holy Spirit can work through you, can work inside of you. Don't keep blocking him out. So go ahead and download this ebook, the EJ Trap. I'm calling it EJ because some of the words are very sensitive. EJ, Culation Trap. How every release dims your spiritual light. This book is for everyone. My young brothers who are self-servicing, my young brothers and sisters who are in immoral relationships, and even my mothers, my fathers who are married but abusing their covenants by overindulgence. This book will help you. The only way you can have a divine connection is if your tankers are very, very full. If you are connected to your spirit man, because your sacred fluids are the fuel that powers up your spiritual man. That's why the Bible is always telling you and reminding you that and asking you if you have forgotten that this body is the temple of God, is the temple of the Holy Spirit. And if you do not have the Holy Spirit, you cannot have a relationship with God. You cannot reach out to God. God cannot hear anything that you say because there is no connection. So it must be kept pure, clean. And the only thing that contaminates it, the only thing that desecrates it, is sexual immorality, is self-service. So go ahead and download the ebook. You know where to find the link. Check it on my bio or check it in the description. It will help you a lot. Forget about everything that you have been reading, or even if you have not been reading, if you've never read a book before, it's not even long, it's an ebook. It's a compressed version of the actual book. So go ahead and download it and start your spiritual journey.